What's going on, everybody? Applying Sky Picker. Make a quick video, a little inspiration for you guys. Um, so my current situation, as most of you know that watch my videos, um, I bought a new van a few months back, maybe, I don't know, four months ago or something like that. And uh, fully loaded Chevy uh, 250, 2500, whatever you call it, uh, Express fully loaded with the uh, adrian steel bin package and all that good stuff and uh, it's been working out great well last year i mean last week um it had an issue and it wouldn't start took it to the shop got it straight it was just some minor wire or some wire was loose or something um and then yesterday broke down again wouldn't start again but completely different i think it's the fuel pump i haven't uh gotten the diagnosis yet but um these are minor setbacks um these aren't gonna ruin you and sometimes i was frustrated when it first happened and uh rolling in my wife's minivan today with the kids seats still in it don't have hardly any stock with me just trying to get some calls you know um diagnosed and fix what's easy i've actually been very fortunate i went on went on four calls yesterday afterwards and completed all four with uh zero parts on my truck or on the van and i've actually completed a couple more today but uh don't let don't let minor setbacks um become don't make a minor setback become major um, a setback is only what you make it. So if you if you allow it to destroy you and you get, oh, no, this is horrible. My van's broke down or, you know, this job didn't go right or that job didn't go right or this messed up or that messed up. Hey, things happen. You know what? Roll with the punches. Keep going. You got a business to run. You got money to make. Um, don't be a little crybaby. Uh, you know, have your little moment of frustration. Everybody has it. Uh, give it up to God or whatever, meditate, pray on it and, and keep moving. Cause it ain't worth it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'll freaking run service calls in a rental van. If I got, if I got to go rent a, a, a U-Haul van tomorrow and, and put all my stock in it and use that for a couple of days, I can afford it. Cause, uh, I think I pay, I think I, I did that one time when my old van broke down. I think I paid like two hundred dollars or something for two days i'll pay that easy a uh, hundred dollars a day heck yeah i can afford that make that in one service call so uh don't let minor setbacks mess you up just keep on pushing keep on doing what you got to do um i'm busy as all get out this week i got service calls of my own to run i got american home shield calls and i'm covering for a buddy of mine that's on vacation so i'm full for the week actually i can't take any more work till monday so um hopefully i will get my truck my van back tomorrow and um one good thing is i have a warranty on my van so i pay a hundred dollar deductible and everything else is covered so and it's a full warranty i mean everything's covered i got the premium warranty when i bought that van and it's unlimited miles um, for the first year. Um, and then after that, I think it goes to like a certain amount of miles on the van. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I'll burn through those miles in one year. So I really have a one year warranty. So I really want to break that van in. Um, I've actually been debating back and forth, uh, whether I want to keep that van or not. I like the big van, but it guzzles gas. Um, I found out that the more space I have, the more mess i can make because i'm a messy i'm messy when it comes to work so i'm thinking about going back down to a small van i really like working out of a minivan i like i like the setup that i had in my old buick um where i had the uh one seat in the back and everything set up and just bins of parts everywhere and uh it wasn't bad but i don't know give me your thoughts in the comments let me know what you think should i stick with the big van or should I go back to a small van? Um, but either way, it's all good. I might get one of each. I might have the big van and the small van. Who knows? Uh, but either way, it's Wednesday trying to get this thing knocked out. Don't let those minor setbacks get you down. 
Uh, and, and another little side note, when you have these minor setbacks, and I'm guilty of this, so um, I'm, I'm uh, preaching to myself first. When you have these minor setbacks, don't allow yourself to take it out on your family and your loved ones. Um, I was really upset yesterday when it first happened, and when I called my wife to let her know, I probably uh, wasn't as nice as I should have been. It wasn't her fault at all. She didn't do anything wrong. Um, and that's kind of a, a lesson for business in general. Just because you have a shitty day at work or you have a something go wrong or whatever, don't go home and take it out on your wife and kids. Don't go home and take it out on the people you love and the people that you're doing this for. Um, leave that stuff in the truck. You know what I'm saying? Don't, uh, don't take it out on them. Uh, a little tip there for you. But you already know that we all do it. I'm guilty of it too. But you know, if if if, if we're uh, doing what we're supposed to do and doing the best we can, then you know, just go home and love on your children and your family. That's what I do. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the van ideas. Leave some stories in the comments of frustrating things that have happened to you that you've overcome, or whatever. Thanks for all the subscriptions. We're over 200 now. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.